Hello guys first kill first explain video 1 recap, first kiss. Meet Juliet Fairmount, Sarah Catherine Hook, a seemingly normal teenage girl, except for one thing, she's a vampire. The opening of first kill episode 1, shows a sizzling little montage of blood and a heated makeout session between Juliet and her eventual love interest, Calliope Cal Burns, Imani Lewis. It appears to be part of Juliet's dream, a frequent occurrence, she mentions in her voiceover narration after jolting awake in her bed. Juliet's before school routine looks pretty normal, too. She greets her family, her father Sebastian, Will Swenson, her mother Margot, Elizabeth Mitchell, and her older sister Eleanor, Gracie Dezeni, who arrives after a late night cutting a statuesque figure in a stunning yellow evening gown. We soon learn that the Fairmounts are concerned for Juliet because she hasn't had her first kill yet a necessity for vampires or else they become extremely sick. The only thing tiding Juliet over for now are gross blood capsules, but they won't keep her content forever. The morning lecture from Eleanor is cut short by Juliet's childhood best friend Ben Wheeler, Jonas Dylan Allen, picks her up for school. Like Juliet, Ben is also gay, Juliet admits they dated once when they were 12 before they both figured out that they swung for different teams. Unlike most shows, Ben is actually the cool kid at school and Juliet is popular by association. Bottom line, when I'm with Ben, I blend in. The headaches might be pervasive and her body might be raging, but Ben makes Juliet feel normal. Ben also has his own romantic troubles. He has a thing for a boy named Noah Harrington, Roberto Mendez, who has a girlfriend at the moment, as Juliet points out. It turns out Ben has good reason to think he has a shot with Noah, but more on that later. He reminds Juliet she promised to go to a party with him at Noah's house that night. In the cafeteria, we get our first glimpse at California it turns out Juliet has been pining for a while, she's yet to work up the courage to talk to her. Luckily, fate intervenes outside the school when they run into each other and have a moment involving Juliet gently plucking a bee off of Cal's shirt. Juliet can't help but obsess over Cal, even in class, as she tries to battle her persistent cravings for blood. It become obvious that Juliet is going to need to feed and kill ASAP or risk losing complete control. Before going to the party, Juliet gets confronted by her family regarding her blood capsules. Margot urges Juliet to feed, lest she feed recklessly. The Fairmounts have worked hard to blend in and maintain secrecy over the years. Margot asks Eleanor to talk to Juliet, to make her understand. Eleanor tells Juliet to go out there, find someone and feed, maybe even the girl she's got her eye on. At the party, it doesn't take long for things to get steamy between Juliet and Cal. During a game of spin the bottle the pair get a chance to make out during some classic seven minutes in heaven. But it all becomes too much for Juliet. Overwhelmed by her senses, she bites Cal and Cal immediately stakes her through the heart. We then get to see this story from Cal's perspective. She comes from a powerful family of hunters who answer to the guild. They've moved countless times around the country to hunt monsters and Savannah is just the latest stop. Cal tags along a hunt with her brothers Theo, Philip Mullings Jr., and Apollo, Dominic Goodman, to find and kill a ghoul in a cemetery. Like Juliet, Cal has yet to have her first kill, but her brothers are extremely adept killers, as are their parents. Cal got her first chance the winter before, but failed, so now she's relegated to the lookout. While trying to kill the ghouls, Cal notices a third creature sneaking up on her brothers and tries to take it out herself, unfortunately it's a vampire and it overpowers Cal. Luckily her brothers manage to rescue her in time. It's also interesting that this vampire is much different than the Fairmounts. Before Cal heads to the party, we learn that Cal realized what Juliet was almost immediately. Cal noticed Juliet's blood capsules and left her bracelet in the hallway as a trap, to test Juliet's resistance to silver. She also knows that Juliet is a daywalker, which means she's something special, a legacy vampire. After that, we return to the closet scene where Cal stabs Juliet straight through the heart. But surely, she can't be dead already? Like video subscribe channel thanks for watching.